Welcome to my channel. My name is Katarina and I'm wishing you happy Nordic Garden Day. Today I would like to share with you idea on how to make free composting bin. Uh, as we all know for Nordic Garden you need uh, good compost and you're gonna have healthy plants. We moved uh, in a house uh, two years ago, before we used to have a small allotment garden, which we shared with the friends. And uh, for the small garden, we used uh, this plastic uh, composting bins. But when we moved here in a bigger garden, then we decided that we need to have bigger composting bins. And at the time, the price of lumber went uh, just uh, up so high that it, uh, it didn't make sense to build a new composting bin from, uh, from new materials. And the idea on uh, making composting bins out of uh, pallets, used pallets, uh, didn't uh, work uh, as well for us because as you can see we are located by the park and for me those uh, bins with the pallets would just look too too rough and too unfinished and uh, I wanted to have some uh, some easier solution actually because I couldn't fit uh, pallets uh, in my car anyway and I wanted to be able to deliver it uh, by myself so I don't have to pay someone else for delivery and uh, then I I, I got the idea about using a crib for a composting bin. But uh, crib in my mind at the time was still uh, like a baby bed. So I, I told myself, oh no, some, I don't want to take a crib which is in a good shape from someone uh, and maybe someone uh, would still use it for a child. But then uh, I found out that uh, so many cribs like this used ones uh, being on a curb just uh, waiting uh, for a garbage truck to take them to the landfill. Then I told myself, okay, don't look at the crib as a bed, look at the crib as a structure. So I'm like, okay. I, I can save the cribs, I can make uh, composting bins because in terms of structure actually the cribs are uh, perfect composting bins. As you can see they are light, lightweight, I can lift actually the whole crib, it's a little bit bulky but when you have crib in two pieces, like that means like four pieces, I can lift easily, I can fit into my regular car and I can bring it here to the to the garden and actually it's very easy to to assemble the crib probably you already have experience if you have kids if not just a few screws and ready to go i wanted to add uh, extra uh, protection to the crib and i wanted to have some uh, uniform look because uh, all of these three cribs are in the uh, different shapes and I wanted to have at least same color if nothing else. So I painted them with, you can use any outdoor paint, you can protect the crib or you can paint in any color which suits your style or your garden. Uh, I think those cribs are uh, amazing for a compost. They look very elegant. They're pretty sturdy. So we had filled these cribs last year, around this time, and now we opened them. I didn't want to make a video before because I wanted to test it, how the compost looks like, because we didn't turn the, the, the materials in. We didn't do any extra work except when we put the uh, uh, organic uh, materials in. We put the layer of leaves during the winter, but then in the springtime I didn't want it to waste the uh, space of a crib. I used the crib as a raised bed, so I planted uh, lots of different plants like uh, zucchini, squash, we had uh, self-seeded tomatoes and kale, so actually they've been used as a raised bed 
throughout the year. Now we are going to open all of them. We are going to put the compost around the garden on top and then we are going to bring uh, raw materials again in. We have lots of uh, kitchen scrap as well throughout the year. So I think we need to add another crib. I'm going to paint that as well. So what else you need to do? So as a layer, as a liner, you can use cardboard. It's very easy. You put the inside and then it holds the material in also keeps the heat and moisture so after a year of the materials being here in the crib I just want to show you I'm going to dig deeper because on the top we have some uh, compost which was uh, made way earlier so here you can see this is the compost which we got after a year and we didn't put any extra time and effort in it because we didn't turn the, the materials. So that's very easy and I think uh, there is no need actually for turning. Uh, I think it's plenty air inside already if you do nice layering of uh, brown and green. You can check more about it from uh, some other people. I recommend the channel of uh, Charles Dowding. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now we have uh, saved in a year close to 1000 bucks uh, in a compost. Because one crib can hold up to one cubic meter. And if you want to order in the area uh, any compost, I'm not saying about organic because organic is uh, much pricier. Organic would cost uh, 800 per cubic meter. Just any type of compost, maybe even not finished, it's $300. So actually you can save up to uh, $1,000 by making your own compost and you know what's in, you know it's a good quality and it will feed your soil and your plants. So this is, I think, a uh, much better idea for everyone who doesn't uh, own a truck or something. You can fit easily in a car. Uh, you don't need big muscles. <laughs> you can handle as well by yourself and uh, the results are just amazing. I hope you like this idea. Uh, maybe I'm going to share with you how we do our layering of the compost. For now, this is only about the structure. As you can see, structures, structurally still fine. Crips uh, probably, in my opinion, will uh, last at least 5 to 10 years, even without any extra uh, coats. Uh, on a crib itself because you have this layer which keeps the humidity uh, away and uh, actually all the stress it's not on the sides it it goes actually down to the ground so nothing bended they look pretty uh, pretty good almost like I just placed them right now uh, so I think uh, it can work and you can do it as well and you can save either your own uh, crib which you have maybe already in a basement or in a garage or maybe you can save some other cribs. We already saved four from a landfill so I think you can do it too and you can get uh, nice organic compost. I hope you like this uh, video, give me thumbs up, subscribe and see you soon hopefully. Bye!